This is the book of John, chapter 12, verse 32. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. All right, first and foremost, we want to say Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Brothers teaching his word of truth and sincerity. All right, we're just in Miss Mississippi. And today we're going to do a response video to the uh, lesson Elder Apostle Tahar did, going into how Yahweh Shai said. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will, I will draw all men to me. All right, read it verse again. God. John 12 and 32. And if I be lifted up from the earth, and if and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Yahweh shall abide forever. And how sayest thou, the son of man must be lifted up? Who is this son of man? Khan, so Yahweh Shah was making a point, all right? If he was to be lifted up from the earth, he would draw all men to him. Basically, if, if he was uh, crucified, you know, for the nation of Israel, he, he would lead all Israel back to him, beginning with the elect, Khan. all right? You know, we have, you know, a few definitions. We have to have the, uh, the definition for uh, lifted up. Kind. In uh, verse 32, the Greek um, for lifted up. Let me get the audio. Strong's G, 5312. Hoopsao. It's hoopsao. Hoopsao. Right? And it says to lift up on high, to exalt. To raise to the very summit of opulence and prosperity, to exalt, to raise to dignity, honor, and happiness. Kind. So, you know, it's a twofold scripture because it goes into Yahweh Shad, uh, you know, him actually being crucified. And also, you know, metaphorically speaking, us exalting Yahweh Shad. Because, see, Yahweh Shad, he's the word. All right. So, when we exalt Yahweh Shad, that's us lifting him up. All right. You know, so Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, death and resurrection, his crucifixion and him being resurrected, that brought Israel uh, back to the father, you know, and that, that drew all men to Yahweh Shai. But also when we lift up this uh, word, you know, Yahweh Shai, he's the word. He comes in the volume of the book. When we lift up this word, when we go out and teach. And when we do sit downs, you know, lessons like this and uh, other such lessons, that's us lifting up Yahweh Shai and, and we're uh, uh, gathering the elect. Right. You know, well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, using us to gather the elect, man, when we, you know, lift up Yahweh Shai. You know, this is leading Israel uh, to Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, so that's the point, man. You know what I'm saying? And we, you know, was uh, in the spirit, you know, to do this lesson, man. Because we're in the time of the elect being gathered. Right. And the elect, they're not being gathered by gimmicks. They're not being gathered by uh, talent shows and, uh, you know, selling rap CDs. Yeah, or people, festivities. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, rap in Israel. Hey, it, it don't work that way, man. Israel is gathered by the word, not by gimmicks. Grand dear Passovers. Yeah, yeah. You know, party Passovers, you know, uh, performances and all that. Weddings. You know, music on iTunes. Israel's not gathered by that, man. God. You know, it's, it's all about this truth, okay? Uh, can you get uh, John 3 and 14? It's the book of John chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Right, and when you go back to when Moses... Lifted up that serpent, that brazen serpent in, in the wilderness, that brazen serpent or that or that serpent made of brass, it was it was used to heal Israel. You know, so this is a parable. You have a shot speaking. You know, uh, you have a shot. He came. He came to heal us. You have a shot. He's also known as a physician. You know. Hey, hey he, he said that, uh, uh, you know, they, they that are well. Need not a physician, but they that are sick. Kind of them that are holding. Yeah, yeah, them that are hold the water. Them that are whole, them that are whole or healthy, 
They don't need a physician, but they that are sick. Exactly. You know, so we're sick, man. Sick. sick meaning we, we, we sin, man. You know, and Yahweh Shai came to take away our sins. God. You know, so so we could be perfect, man. So we could be blameless. So we won't die because if you and your sin, you're gonna die, man. And that's why we're exalted. Mm -hmm. Hey, because he but because he was lifted up from planet Earth, but but we lift him up on the highways and the byways. We lift him up and exalt him with these videos. Kind, you know. Yep, and, and he's leading all men to him. You know, that's mainly going into you know him him uh, leading the elect, man, kind. or or gathering the elect. You know, because. This truth is only for the Israelites, and as of right now, it's only for the elect. Kind. You know, get some more in uh, John three. No, that was it. But I would jump back to twelve kind. to get that um, to get the word um, draw in verse thirty two. It says, "And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me." Now, when you go into that word draw, Strong's G sixteen seventy, Helco, Helco. It says to draw, to drag off, to draw by inward power, lead, impel. You know, so so we're led and impelled and enticed by whom? Yahweh Shai, man. Kind. Because he is the word. Doesn't as it is written, it is uh as it is written of me, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, he is the word, he is that book. Well, we can we can get that scripture. It's a uh, Psalm. You wanna jump to Psalm? Kind, kind. Psalm uh forty and seven. And as you can see, we're, we're uh, doing this to the best of our ability to let the scriptures speak, you know. Psalm chapter 40, verse 7, then said, I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. That's it. That's it. You know, Matt, since you got that, uh, can, can you give me uh, St. John 1 and 14? St. John chapter 1, verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Kind. So, Yahweh Shai, he's the word personified. Kind. You know, he's he's a he's an embodiment of the word, and that's why we believe on Yahweh Shai, because hey, he is the law. You know what I'm saying? He he is the word. He is the he is the commandments. And guess what? I U I C. He has a name. You know, you just can't say, well, he's the word of Most High, and that's it. Even though he is the word, we got the scriptures to prove it, but the word has a name. His name is Yahweh Shai, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, for he shall save his people from, from their sins. Right. You know, because we're sick, man. You, hey, we need salvation, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And hey, the brother Natazaki in Chicago did an excellent lesson. We need salvation from ourselves, man. I mean, it's one thing. We're in this wicked society controlled by Esau, the so-called white man. He's doing his damn best to uh, to murder us. And keep a stumbling block before us. And keep stumbling blocks before us on a daily basis, man. He's brainwashed all of our people with this Edomite supremacy. So he's doing an excellent job in destroying the minds of the people and physically destroying the people. God. You know, but at the same time, man, we're in these chains of darkness, man. We're in these bodies that sin, these bodies that go off. We need salvation from ourselves, man. That's why Yahweh Shai came, man. Right. You know? And that's what Romans chapter 7 and chapter 8 is all about, mm -hmm. you know? Because those things that we would do, we do not. And those things that, that we desire not to do, them we do. You know? So it's a never-ending battle in this, in, 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 in this walk of ours. Kind. You know? So, so that's why we lift up and exalt Yahweh Shai, right? Because we've been impelled and led by him through the Spirit. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, man. You know? That's it, brother. God. That's it. Can you uh give me Genesis 49 and 10? And now we're gonna get some scriptures on how Yahweh Shad is, is uh gathering us, man. Okay? Because all men are being gathered to Yahweh Shah. Guess what, man? I asked UPK, all men are not being gathered to General Yohanna. Right. Basically, he's doing something similar to what uh, Tazadaki did the man people call the comforter, you know that cult of personality thing. Hey, he's blaspheming the Holy Spirit, man. Uh, uh hey, the so-called commanding general Yohanna, you, you blaspheming the Holy Spirit, you know. All Israel, well, 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 I'm gonna say the elect, the elect are not gonna make it going through you, man. Right. You know, and, and we give double honor to our apostles and the elders because they taught us, and they taught us the one percent truth. 
But they even say that they can't save us, man. They working out their own salvation. You know, they, they, they tell us to believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So this is what separates us from you other groups, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Come, this is uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Right, the scepter, or, or the, uh, the rulership, you know, that different lineage of kings shall not depart from Judah until Shiloh come. And that's why when you read in uh, Matthew, the first chapter, it gives you the lineage of Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, all the way starting from from uh, from Jacob, you know, um, well, really Abraham from, you know, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you know, going all the way down to Judah, you know, going all the way down to those different uh, kings. You know, when you read in, in the book of, uh, you know, uh you got first, first and second Samuel. You got first Kings, second Kings. Basically, th that lineage from uh, King David. You know, uh, going all the way down to those other different kings of Judah. You know, going all the way down to when Yahweh Shai was born, man. Because that that Shiloh, can you look that up? Shiloh. Yeah, that Shiloh was speaking about Yahweh Shai. You know, we can get the exact Hebrew word, but basically, Shiloh means peace or tranquility, and that's what Yahweh Shai did when when Yahweh Shai came on planet Earth. By him being lifted up from the earth, he brought uh, peace between Yahweh and Israel. All right? You know, because at one point in time, the Heavenly Father turned his back on us. You know? Kind. And that's um, Shayala. Yeah, um, Shayala. Shayala. He whose it is that which belongs to him, tranquility. Esau says, meaning uncertain. So let's go to the, the root word, shalah. And it, uh, it says to be at rest, to prosper, be quiet, be at ease. Peace. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that's similar to uh, uh, the name Solomon, which in the, in the Hebrew is uh, shalomah, you know, which, which, which means peaceful. So that, that shalom that's speaking about in Genesis 49 and 10, that's speaking about Yahweh Shai. Exactly. All I right. got a priest to link it up. Con. In Revelations 5 and 5, it says, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the uh, seven seals thereof. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. So, you know, let, let you know how that lineage, the root of David, you know, that lineage went all the way down, so they came to Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we open up the seals. The elect men in the last days were going to be able to, uh, to, to, to do what? Follow him, you know? As he was lifted up and exalted, he gave them that understanding the last times. Yep. He loosed the seven seals. Exactly. So, seven meaning completion, right? So, if, if, if you had a seal on something, that means you have a, a lock on it. You know, it's sealed. But Yahweh shot took the seal off, man. So, if the book is unlocked, if, if the, the seven seals, if it's unlocked, that means we had a complete understanding, which yep. means what? We have 100% truth, man. Somebody has it. You know, somebody got it, you know, and, and it's being made evident who doesn't have it, which are you other groups, man. And we're not saying that to boast or brag on ourselves. Yeah. It's just the truth, man. You know, so sticking with the script, sticking to the scriptures, man, you know, Yahweh Shai, by him being lifted up from the earth, by him being crucified after his, uh, after his death, and resurrection, he went back to the Father, and 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 this book was unsealed, man. God. You know, uh, here for us in these last times. Okay, that's why we have it now, and and all men are being led or drawn to him. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, because it's twofold. Because it, it's already written that that men were going to be dr drawn unto him, and other men were going to be led astray. You know, so everybody's playing playing out their role, man. God. You know, but we just do faith. I've led and believe that Yahweh is the true name. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah is the true name. This is the true doctrine. He is the way. He, he is the light. He's the, our guide. You know, through faith we believe those things, man. You know, because as it is written, you know, we read the read the script and and, and, and basically uh, discern it discern it accordingly. Con, that's right, man. And, and and we don't do it of ourselves. The Lord has to put his spirit on you to do it, man. Hey. He has to anoint your eyes with eye salve. A lot of you guys don't have that, man. And we can look that word up. If the spirit, you know, eye salve, man. Basically, hey, you had that one, uh, we had that one Edomite, man. He did, did those commercials, uh, clear eyes, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, well, basically, you know, 
spiritually speaking, man, you have to have that spiritual eye ointment, man. The Lord has to, you have, you have to have spiritual vision, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's why we, hey, it's no big deal for us to, uh, to know who the tribes are. We know who the tribes are, man. Because, hey, you notice when, when, a, lot, when a lot of guys fall out the truth, man, the first thing they're yelling is all the tribes are black, man. They don't have the eye salve, man. Right. You know, same thing, like you said, the name of the Lord and his son. You don't have the eye salve if you can't see it, man. Yep. Hey, because, because it's spiritual, too. Hey, because some men upon planet Earth are born blind. Kind, kind. And some men are born with sight and later on lose their vision. You know? But when you look at that eye salve or you look at the eye as, as, as though having this truth, you could have been born born with it or, or you know what I'm saying, born again and had it and then lost it. You know, some people lose their vision later on. It's the same way you can lose this understanding later on. You know, so. Yep. Two and two, man. And most of us uh, didn't... Uh, didn't grow up with it. You know, most of us, man. You know, certain brothers may have known that they was Israelites and, and things of that sort. But just the truth as a whole, man, we didn't grow up, for example, like a uh, high priest Ariah. You know, he was blessed, man. So he, he grew up right under, you know, Abba Bibbins and, you know, and uh, Elder Yaquab, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was his father. You know, you know, hey, we didn't have that, man. You know what I'm saying? So for, for the most part, hey. The spirit really just got to be dealing with you, man, period, to get this. You know, I was thinking about it the other day, man. You can't make this thing up, man. You can't make the truth up. Right. You can't just get it. You know? You got a little something? No, I didn't have it. I'm okay. trying to find a verse for it. Yeah, we could probably just put I salve together. I think it's one word, if I'm not mistaken. But until you get that, can you get uh, Ephesians 2 and 13? I can find the scripture. 2 and 13 and 17. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now in Hamashiach Yahushua, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Yahushua. Right, ye who are far off. Which, what is that going to? That's going to the Israelite foreigners. Which really, we all became Israelite foreigners, man. There had to come a falling away first. We all fell away. The, the, uh, the northern kingdom first, but hell, the southern kingdom too. We all fell off, man. And even when Yahweh Shai came, you still had the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, in the land of Israel, still keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. But really, they didn't have the whole truth because most of them did, didn't believe on Yahweh Shai. And at the same time, they, they, they just didn't have that perfect understanding, man. You know, when, when Yahweh Shai came, he, he, he gave them the perfect way, man. And he was that way. He said he's the door. He's the truth. You, you got to go through your house shot, man. Which, what, what's that? That's a straight gate, man. You know? Yeah, I mean, hey, in, in this society, man, things are somewhat made easy for you when you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and when you don't believe in your house shot. But when you believe in your house shot, and when you start, uh, you know, keeping this word, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, because faith in your house shot comes first. But, but it tells you when you believe on this truth, all, all that are godly, all that believe in Yahweh Shah shall suffer persecution. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture. But when you believe in this truth, man, it's not easy. You know, Elder Apostle Gabar recently, recently that just did a lesson on that, man. You know, uh, uh, words of comfort or, or, or a consoling thought, you know. You can look at uh, the GMS Walk and Talk 8. It's on there, man. A consoling thought is that this truth is not easy, man. You know. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, Con, this in uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 3, uh, for the word I say, I just want the uh, definition. Oh, we can, we can get the scripture, then the definition. Okay. That's um, Revelation, chapter 3, verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. Right, that gold tried in the fire is you. You know, you possessing this truth, you know. And when you're in this truth, you're being refined by the affliction you go through. Go ahead. And All right. And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Right. The shame of your nakedness is, is uh, you being in your sin. You know, go ahead. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Right. And it's talking spiritually, you know, and you're going to see it. Strong's G, 
Taloria. Yeah, what it says here. Lexicon, related entry. Taloria. Taloria. Yeah, what it says here it says a preparation composed of various materials and used as a remedy for tender eyelids. Right, a, a remedy or a cure for tender eyelids, you know, so you can see. Right. You know, so it's, it's like an ointment, you know. And then I'll go to the root word, uh, cola, glue, to glue together, cement, fasten together, to join or fasten firmly together, to join oneself, self. To join one oneself to the cleave to. Oh, who, who you need to be joined to? Yahweh Shah. That's how you see. You know? Time. You need to be joined with Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why, hey, what are we doing? When we go out and teach, we're bidding uh, Israel, the elect, to the marriage. And one of the, uh, the synonyms for this is cleave. To cleave. That, there you go, man. Which means to, to uh, bring together. Time. Hey, well, uh, Isaiah 14. You know that the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The Israelite foreigners. Well, we're going to get a few more scriptures because, you know, time is being cut short on us. But can, can you get uh, Baruch 4 and 37? And you can just, you know, just going to go through these. Because the elect are being gathered by the word, which is Yahweh Shah. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 37. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. So before we before we are physically gathered by the chariots, we are being gathered by spiritually the, by the word. By the word. Come, Ezekiel thirty four and sixteen. From east to west. Come from east to west, man. Because we're all over the globe, man. You know, Israelites are all over the world, man, and it's beautiful. You know. He said 34 and 16. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 16. I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. Right. You false prophets, man. You know, that are greedy and using our people, man, making merchandise to them. But the Lord is going to save them that, that are lost. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Them that are sick, we, we explain how we're sick, you know. But you come into this truth, man. Hey, you have a clean slate, man. Yeah, you but you have whole. to, you kind of, you made whole. And the Lord is with you, man, if you're enduring to the end. God. Because we're not out of here yet. We're not out of here yet. Excuse me. We, we, we don't know if we're the elect until we're actually taken up, man. Right. You know? You have any closing statements? Same thing? No, I didn't have anything. Kind. Hey we, hey, we just exalt your house shot, man. You know, I mean, you know, I, hey, bro, just pray, man. Just pray hard, you know. Pray unto the heavenly father as though it's your, it's your earthly father. When, when you were coming up and you wanted something from him, you know, you, you nagged him. You nagged him. So we got nagged the most high, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh shot that he bring this in, man. So, 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 so Yahweh shot can get that complete glorification, man. And be crowned with the, uh, the the crowns of all the nations, man. You know, so. Yep. And when he's crowned, he's going to crown us, man. Exactly. As you it know? is written, man. Kind. Who is the him of that that tallest statue that placed the crowns upon their heads, man? Kind. kind. But like you said, he has to be glorified first. got to be glorified you know? first. Because even Paul spoke about that. Kind. You know? He knew that that, 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 that at Yahweh Shai's coming, that he was going to receive a glorious crown, man. Kind. That's right. But with that, we want to say Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shah. Barakatai Yahweh Shah. Shalom. And Shalom.